Jessica. Papa. What is it? Why did you spoil your face like this, like a soldier that lost a crucial battle? Eh? What is the problem? Papa, Papa I lost a crucial battle. I, I lost battle. My stomach, I've not eaten since last night. Eh? And I'm very hungry. My dear, you can see. Your father does not have food. He died. No one naira on me to take care of the house. I don't even have a couple to give to your mother to prepare something for the house to eat. But you know what? I am very, I am very satisfied because I know that someday God will make a way. God's grace is enough for everyone in this house. Yes. Every time you sit and say, oh, God's grace, God's grace, oh, God's grace, come and meet you here. You'll be sitting there, you'll not go out and do something. See, the principal said that if I didn't pay my school fees next week, that I won't write exams. So, I mean, I want to write exams. Yeah, is it about the school fees? Eh? I will look into it. I will look into it. Eh? Please, my daughter, put yourself together. You have to look into it. You have to kill my school fees because me, I have to write the exam. I must write the exam with Papa. I must write the exam. Jessica, where are you and why you? Where are you and why you? No more when you get near the end of the zone, eh? Oh, Chimo. I need to come over to my father. It's even one night. I don't have money, eh? issues in this family at all. It's because of you. I don't want you to go hungry, eh? So worry up, eh? Madam, Ch Madam Ch uh, Chidera, she's a very understanding woman. She will understand. Oh, just tell her I will give her the money tomorrow. The rain is almost here before it becomes heavy. So run along, eh? Yeah? No, you know there's no rain now. Your father left with the umbrella, so go before the rain starts very much, eh? The rain is not heavy yet. Okay. Run and come back with you. Thank you. 
everything of all of us. Okay? Okay, Mama. I will be patient. I understand. I understand everything that is going on. That is why I love you very much. I know you are a very understanding girl. Hmm? That's why I want you to do this for me. Hmm? I want you to quit school for now. I can't quit school. Never. I won't quit school. My daughter, I understand how you feel. I understand how you feel. Staying away from school when your mates are in school. But what do you want me to do? Hmm? You can see the condition in the house for yourself. To eat is a problem. How do we pay your school fees? Since your father got retired and the government refused to pay his pension, your father is not even doing anything to help the situation. Eh? You can see this for yourself. If you keep, go to school, they will keep sending you home. So how do we pay your school fees? Please do it for me, my daughter. Huh? Mama, my mate are in school. My, my mate are in school and you want to deny me of my education. Me, I'm not going to, I'm not going to stay in the house or me, I'm going to school. I'll, I'll go to school. I understand how she feels. I thought of all. Hmm? Staying at home when the mates are in school. Oh, the problem in this will end. Yeah? why you want to lose your precious sleep. Hmm? Who trained you? Did I went to school? Huh? But I am still alive. I am still alive. Papa, you are still alive. But you're financially dead. You are dead. Look, your mates that went to school, they are living in a very big house. Their children are going to the best school. Papa, uh. Jessica, are you out of your mind? Huh? So you now insult me the way you want to insult me? Hmm? I am asking you, so you can open your mouth and talk to me, your father, the way you feel to talk to me. By the way, don't you know that you are a woman? And that in our community, we don't train women. Hadn't been you are a boy, at least uh, I, I can go out of my way to borrow money to raise you up, at least to train you. Reasons being that if I finish training you, someone else will come from nowhere to come and marry you, and then will abandon my own father's name and be another person's name. From in the community where I come from, it's against our culture and tradition. Papa, Papa wants to be great. I want to be a woman of substance. I want to be like Margaret Thatcher. I want to be like Michelle Obama. Papa, I want to be like, I want to be like Oprah Winfrey. I want to even be like Professor Ngozi Okonjo Iwala. Papa, I want to be great. I want to be a great woman in the society. 
and I must go to school, and not even you can stop me. Yes. Good ambition. Good thinking. All those people you just mentioned their name. Ask about them. They are all on their bed sleeping. So you can as well go in and sleep if you wish. Have a wonderful night rest, young girl. Education indeed. Papa, I want to go to school. But mommy, I'm going back to school. I must go to school. And you cannot stop me. You won't stop me. Me, I'll go back to school. I must go to school. something better. The letter said, what well, won't end. Please, anytime I'm with you in fact, don't even talk about her matter. Please, it's even touching me here like this. Her, her body, she will. It's more, she's do something that I will. I don't send it. I will tell you, tell you her body. One kind, I'll kind my grandpa give her. Make sure they go street, go and be selling it to everybody. That is this, I see with your body. Oh, what is that? Check this one. Yeah. Hey, be pity, be pity, her body. Hey, make sure go sell her now. She will. If you like, I'll carry my grandpapa, give and join. Wait, 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 this, wait, 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 Papa Jesse. wait, 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 I'm not trying at all.
me, you tell me that I have a damaged brain. Do you have said so many things that cannot even recollect in the bottom of my thinking? What is wrong with you? Let me even ask you a simple question. Eh? If you are giving me a male child, I would have been a very proud man. You have provided a woman here, you want me to waste my own hard money training a woman so that another man will drive in here and come and carry her. And at the end of the day, she will not bear my spokes, father's name. She will go and be represented at that. From the village to a community, I have told you, I am a complete traditional believer. I am nominal. I am divine assassin, and I cannot condescend so low to be you know, harassed or you bully me into deciding on the things that you are talking about. It's hey. not going to work. If you have given me a male child, I will, I will train that guy. I will train him. Hey. Let me first. Did you go to school? Hey! You can have a walk. Ruben, can you listen to what you are voicing out from your mouth? No, when you talk at times, listen to that thing that is, you are voicing from your mouth. Can you listen to yourself? I think your condition is now affecting your, your sense of reasoning. Eh? Oh, you're talking about school. School. I did not go to school, though. I know I did not go to school. Hmm? If I had gone to school, I know my condition would not be like this. You that is even talking, did you go to school? Yeah, that is the Joshua. Hi. That is the bus stop where I am waiting for you. I went to school. At least I have a, a, a standard C's. There is no one you have. You will Okotoko. If they say spell your name now, you go and start from apostrophe. You end up in zero. You don't know what you are doing. I have told you once, by the way, why are you even telling me that uh, you don't want to make the same mistake that yes. Which mistake did you make? Yes, marry Which you, mistake? marrying a lazy man like you. No, a lazy yes, man. Yes, that is the mistake. You I can never call me a lazy man. You are a lazy man. I'm a professional draft player. No. Oh. Oh. Yes. You are still saying it. Yes, and I'm continue, proud of it. Continue playing I'm proud of it. Continue playing the draft. One day that draft will play you. You are no stupid friends. Of Every day you've been disturbing me. The other day, Dickhead, my friend, stole two of my seat of draft. Every time I hear Alan, they're GG line. For me to go to Grand, you started calling me five on Dickhead, but he stole two of my seat. Hey. And they are telling me that you are a good woman. Hi. Hey. Can you listen to yourself? Let's go inside. You are kids. Cannot allow me to enjoy the serene environment. Take over. Oh, where are you going? Oh, you are going back to the drop. Continue. One day, under that tree, you are going to follow me. You are going to be stupid friends of yours. Best of the day. You will not have peace in this for you at all. My dream is for you to be great. If I had the money, if I had the money, I will make sure you go to the highest level of education. No, I didn't go to school. You know, but look at me. Look at me, I'm stranded. But now I can't help you. I can't. I'm stranded. Just look at our condition. To eat is even a problem. Eh? Please, my daughter. Please, just understand. Your father is not helping. Hi. I'm sorry, my daughter. I'm sorry I can't help you. I'm sorry. 
Hey. It's okay. It's okay, Mama. Everything will be fine. Oh. Everything will be fine. Oh. I promise to work hard and make you proud. Okay? I'll make you proud. You're going to be very happy, okay? God will help us. Amen. Mm -hmm. I know you are hungry now, eh? Yeah? Very hungry. Okay. I still have a little gallery remaining in the house. That's the last one. Huh? Let's go in. So you we'll just we'll drink it. Okay. Thank you. Right so up. Well. easy to find people that who you know it's very difficult to see people that will allow you to be buying credits credits from them the way i okay. used to buy from mrs you. ruben must yeah? complain i know it's not we are friends i know but at least i have to show appreciation it's not easy i thank god you really appreciate it yeah. eh? there's something else i want you to do for me yeah. it's my husband why would he? My husband is too lazy. He is very lazy. I've tried in so many ways to talk to him, to change, and look for something doing to improve the condition of the family. To eat is even a problem in that home. My daughter is about dropping from school because of his laziness. Eh? I want you to come and talk to him because it's like everything I'm saying is not making a, any impact. Maybe if someone else talks to him, he could have a change of mind. Eh? Mrs. Ruben, you know what? You know, we, we've been friends for ages now. I don't want you to go there and quarrel with her husband. Hmm? I'll come there either tomorrow morning or anytime, anyhow, tomorrow. Okay. You can say I'm about going out for a meeting. I'll come there and talk to him. I don't know if I'm stop, uh, stop going to school now. For what? What's wrong with that man? Please, you don't have to bother yourself. Please, I, 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 I'm late already. Eh? I'll come here tomorrow and talk to you. So that you can catch up with your school. Um, I'll take you some other. 
stop telling me, okay, you promise to buy me a car. Cassava. No, I'm cooking yam and beans. <laughs> you said I'm mixing cassava and you're asking me if I'm mixing cassava. Hey. Well, why weren't you in school today? My mother is very, very sick and I have to stay at home and take care of her. Oh, so sorry about that. Okay. But we wrote tests today, three tests. Huh? Three tests? Yes. So how is she now? Hey, she's fine. And my father took her to the clinic. Hey, three tests. To the clinic? Yes. Why not hospital? Have you forgotten our condition? Please leave matter. Uh, what subjects? We wrote maths, agric science, and government. Maths, agric, and government? Yes. Hey, what will I do now? Three tests. Okay, maybe on Monday I'll, I'll meet the teachers so that I'll beg them for makeup tests. I think that's what I would do. My problem, my, I, I begged him, I begged my dad, I begged my father to allow me to go to school today, but he said no, I should stay at home and take care of my mother. And my, my problem with him, he's very, very lazy. Why are you laughing? <laughs> <laughs> I'm serious. He's very, very lazy and he wants me to be lazy as he is. <laughs> Why are you laughing? <laughs> I well, don't like it. Just meet the teachers on Monday. First thing on Monday for makeup test. Because this, you know, the mass is very important. And government, I will, I will. I'll go and move the info. Come and help me now. <laughs> Come and help me now. Oh, come to that thing. You can't touch it. Smell it. When I go to your house. <laughs> <laughs> Bye. All go right. to your house, Nami. I want to do this before they finish. Just do it. I'm going. Okay. Bye bye. So, why didn't you work today? No, you know, my mommy sent me an errand. So, that's why I didn't make it. Uh, I didn't even sell any. It is only three pure that I sold and this one. Yeah. I'm just hungry. I, mean, I can't eat anything. Mm. I know this auntie. Good afternoon, auntie. Oh, how are you? I'm fine, auntie. Um, thank you for the money you gave me the other day. Oh, it's nothing. By the way, why are you not in school by now? Uh, I was in school. I was in SS2, but I dropped out of school. But by the grace of God, I'll finish my secondary school and I'll go to university like you. Don't worry. You'll be a graduate and a great girl someday, okay? Auntie, come and take water. Thank you very much. Drink water now. You're not thirsty. <laughs> Do you want to drink? Thank you. Okay. Auntie, my name is Jessie. What's your name? Okay. My name is Neka. Hmm? Um, as you can see, we are very tired and we need to rest. We are going to the hostel now. Feel free to come visit me anytime if you like. Okay, okay I will. All right, take care. Right. Be a good day, okay? Thank you. Take care. Hey, 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 Hey. Hey. How are you? Fine, thank you. Um, Ma, is Jessie? She has gone to Hawk. Did you say Hawk? Yes. She now sells uh, pure water. Mm. Huh? Okay. My regards to her when she comes okay. back. Okay. No problem. Huh? My dear. Meet your parents for me, eh? Yes, ma'am. Okay. Bye bye, eh? I cannot be ashamed of 
of my life. in the front, look at the back. If you are not feeding well, how will you be looking in room? I Only draft, draft, draft for money tonight. Have draft ever put food on your table? Have draft ever put food on, on, on your table? Look at our only daughter dropping out of school because of you. I am a very proud man. I, I know how to set draft. At least with the draft that I'm playing, there is hope for me. Master said God's daughter. It was through draft. They married that last one that you open as the bed But even myself, I have very good hope. Yes, that one day I can play a good draft and win. You will not have peace in this home. You will not have peace in this home. You, you are a stupid man. You will not have peace. I will give you war in this home. Until you wake up to your responsibility, I'll be a man. What's your problem? Credit, credit. Everybody on my shame. Why should I be? Why should you be? Bank, banks themselves used to borrow. Doesn't come to the borrow. Do that they themselves in Nigeria went to go and collect from China. I say, is it not to borrow me? You see yourself. Okay. Your position has only you the madman. Listen to yourself. Eh? Imagine. Eh? So, Jesse, you decided to win your life by hockey. Grace, you don't have to condemn me. I'm trying to make ends meet. By hockey. How about Grace? Why is something like this? How do you want me to sound? No, how do you want me to sound? You just left school only to start hawking. Please, you know my parents are poor. The landlord is on their neck. My school fees, my feeding, everything. I had no choice than to step down and hawk. So you won't go back to school again? I will. Not now. Uh, I've spoken to the principal and he understands. Oh, wow. All these are parents that refuse using their youthful age to work hard. Now we are suffering for it. Well, okay. So high school. Fine. Okay. Don't worry, I'll see you. Okay? Okay. Bye. Yeah. Yeah. Listen. Hmm? See what that your friend just said. Yeah. Don't let it get to you at all. It is better to say this, this people that are selling. It is better to say this people that to start selling their bodies off and land like all those other girls will do. Yeah. God in his infinite time, infinite mercy will always provide for us. Don't mind this situation we are going through right now. Definitely. There's always a light at the end of that thing. I'm a girl, I don't need education. You said I don't need education, that I have to talk. I should keep. 
keep hawking. 41 rich man. Come and seek my hand in marriage. He said if I were a boy, he would go out there and work hard. He would go out there and borrow money and sponsor me in education. But because I'm a girl, I don't need that. and we need education we need to go back to school we need to work hard we also need to be educated we don't just need to be hawking around or selling our body around but we need to go to school and make a great society and that is why I have a dream and I promise myself to achieve my dream. I have a dream to be great. I have a great dream to be a very, very great woman in the society. And I told my father, he cannot stop me from achieving that dream. My father can never stop me from achieving my dreams. I want to be, I want to be the, the first female president in this country. And how can I achieve that? I can achieve that in going to school. I can achieve that in working hard. I can achieve that in, in, in fulfilling my dreams. So I don't need anybody to, to discourage me. Tell me that we girls, we are just for the kitchen and for the other rooms. We are not just for the other rooms. We are not just for the kitchen. We are there to contribute to our society. We are there to make a great society. And I know we can do it. And you don't have to be in the city to be great. I want to be like Oprah Will. Oprah Winfrey was raised by a single poor mother in Mississippi. What about today? She won $2.7 billion as a US talk show host. She, she, she always dreamed of that and she went to school. I have a dream. So what are we talking about? So because we are poor doesn't mean that we don't have a dream. Because we are girls doesn't mean that we don't have a dream. We all have a dream and we can achieve it. My dream is to, is to make a better society. It's to make a better country. And I know I must achieve it. And how will I achieve it? It's by working hard. It's by going back to school. Is by being educated. I don't care what my father think about me. I don't care what anybody think about me. I don't care if they say I am a female 
and I don't need more education. They just believe that because we are girls, we will end up in the kitchen and we'll end up in the other rooms. But that is not true. Every girl child needs to be valued because we all have something to give out to the society. We all have something to contribute. We all have something to contribute to the society. No matter our gender, we can't change our gender. A girl needs to be educated in order to, to, to contribute to her family. She will go out there and work. She will work hard and contribute to her family and contribute to the society as a whole. We don't just need the opposite sex to do that. We have great women in the society. We have Hillary Clinton. She's a great woman. And she's educated. So what are we talking about? We should not just give up in all this. We should not give up in hawking. We should not. There is hope. We will not always cry. We don't have to shed tears. There is hope for us. Every girl, every girl has a potential in her to give us something to the society. I need a future. A girl needs a future. And you need a future. It doesn't matter where you are. And it doesn't matter the environment you are. No matter the poverty, you can achieve your dreams. Family often think that for them to, to, to save money, for the girls to go back to school, is better they save the money for a girl's dowry. And that is very, very wrong. They just believe that someday someone can just come and get married to us, and that is the end. I can't change my gender. You can change your gender. I need to contribute to the society, no matter the challenges, no matter the poverty. So how can I contribute to the society? It's by working hard and going to school. If I'm educated, I can contribute to the society. Women are not meant for the kitchen and the other rooms alone. We are not meant for just the kitchen and other rooms. Women are meant to be in the offices, establishments, just like our opposite sex. I can't change my gender, and you can't change your gender. So I stand and say no to child abuse. I stand and say no to gender discrimination. I say no to gender discrimination. I say no to gender discrimination. And I say no. To gender discrimination and together we say no, no to gender, gender discrimination, discrimination. hello how are you girl what are you doing here you shouldn't have come here see if my mother sees you here she will kill me see you could, you could have asked me to come if you wanted to see me. Oh, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, okay? Um, so, can you come to my house? See, you have to start going. Just come and go. I'll see you later. I'm going to school now. I'll see you okay, later. I'll be waiting, okay? Just go, go, go.
as a friend and roommate. And it is high time I begin to tell you the truth. And thank you for telling me the truth. Mother, Mary, I beg come for what you say. I just pray she don't regret all this. Take that away from me. I don't know why night I follow you, Anna. All what she does is to sleep around with old men. Are you lying to me? You're right. You believe the other day I saw her entering a hotel close to my auntie's house. That one. I pity for her parents. My dear, that is if she have a she is just like a costume. Neka is wise. She had led to lectures. Mm. Are you minding me? I beg, maybe forget that on serious girl, mama. Before she starts feeling too important. Mm. I believe you. You could care for granddaughter. Mm. I don't know. Uh, welcome, my sister. How is the family now? Uh, we are fine though. <laughs> it's just that uh, the rain is too much. My brother, I don't know. I don't know this strength of the thing. He, I actually came to see you, sir. You came to see me? Yes, sir. I hope there is no problem. Uh, no trouble at all, though. Mm. No problem. Just that your wife came to my house the other day crying and complaining that you are, you are not providing food for the house. That's why it's say, let me come and talk to you, sir. Wait, wait. You mean my own wife came to your house to report me? She's my friend now, sir, you know. So my wife came to your house to report me that I am not a responsible man. She did not complain. She was like telling no, me. No, what I am saying is that I am not taking care of my family. She... Are you the one feeding my family? Uh... Is that why you are here? Mr. Ruben, you know me for ages. We are friends. We're family friends now. What I am saying is you left your own home, your children to come to my family to tell me the way I should do to my wife and children what? Mr. Ruben, you have known me for ages. Eh? If I if I gone to her to report my husband, I have been straight out. It's supposed to have come to my husband to tell me. If I have known you for ages, to start kicking audacity to make it, to put your mouth into matters that does not concern you. I am asking you. We are not fighting, sir. Who, you, you, you said that there is no fight. We are not fighting. Listen, let me just beg you for, for one God's sake, just the, before I open my eyes, leave this place. Mr. Ruben. I said leave my compound now before I do something for him. Don't you see me out of the house? Chinete me. Please, remain. Let there, there is a prayer meeting. Just wait. Mr. Ruben. I am coming. Let me, hey. let me bring my... I hope this man is all right. Mr. Ruben, just me out of the house. I say you should... Hey! Hello. Where are you now? I'm here. I live 
you know you're back? Papa, I've been back since now. I saw the tray down there. You didn't sell anything today. But there's no market too. There's no market at all. Market is very bad too. I just said, you know I sold only three pure water. Three pieces. Just three pure water. Hmm. Ah. But we have more sunshine today now. I won't try that. Tata. Eh? But the customer should have consumed more than three now. Hey, can you see why? How can we? Oh my God. Papa, is it every day they will drink pure water? <laughs> Jessica, you will not understand how it is in this family. Eh? Mama, mama. You want to? Yeah, let me ask you. Hey, eh? Papa, eh? I remember. No, I, I just want to go under the fruit there to sweep it and then put my mat and lie down. I've not eaten since morning. Hmm? Hey, Papa, you remember that your old friend, Chief Alfred? Chief Alfred. Alfred, Alfred. Chief Alfred, I used to call me his wife when I was small. Hey, hey, hey. Alfred, the one that his uh, family is in Canada. Yes. I saw Chief Alfred. Chief Alfred gave me 1,000 euros. Are you serious? Mm -hmm. You saw Chief Alfred? Yes, and he gave me 1,000 naira. Jesse, you didn't sell. He gave you 1,000. Yeah, Chere no, I'm the <laughs> Oh, Chief Mahoma. The same Chief Alfred that used to call you my wife when you were very little gave you 1,000. He gave me 1,000 naira. Oh, Chief Mahoma, Dalu. Give him a thank you. Then, if you know you're going to say, no. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah, Bruzina. And he said I should tell you that he will come and see you. He's coming to the house to see me. Yes. Job, let me go and wash my leg. Ah, uh, uh, but it's not today. It's <laughs> <laughs> not today. He said he will come and see you, but it's not today. Eh? Yes. Not today. Yes. I thought he's coming because my leg is already dead. <laughs> you know what? What? Please run now, eh? Mm -hmm. Bapu also go and give your mother the one thousand naira. Let her prepare something for us to eat. Eh? Because the hunger is already turning on me. Look at my cheek. The way the thing has sink now. <laughs> Jesse, Jesse, please, eh? Let her prepare something for us to eat. You know we are managing. Without this pure water that we are doing here, the business of pure water, how can we eat? Eh? Hmm? Because my tummy is already preaching to me. <laughs> eh? Mama, I don't like what you are doing. I'll go and hug, I'll come back, I'll see empty plates. Ah, I'm always hungry now. Go and give I'll it to her. Let her prepare something. I am under the manina. Okay. Eh? Let okay. me sweep the place and uh, enjoy okay. myself a little. Oh? Okay, I'll give it to her. Uh, Biko, what do you I'm <laughs> 
very good friend. <laughs> You're welcome. Yeah, a long time. Hi. Hi. This one that you came to see us today, well, please just hold on. Let me finish so we can go inside. Oh, no, 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 no. There is no need for that. Uh, we can just stay around and uh, take some fresh air. You know? <laughs> <laughs> All we have here are monkeys jumping everywhere. Oh, really? It's nomad, you know. It's nomad, yes. Hey. You're welcome. You're welcome, my very good friend. Yes. Hi. How is your family? They are very fine. Very fine. And yours? Oh, we are fine. We thank God. I guess your family is still in Canada. Yes, they're, they're still, still there. Yeah, they're still there. I came back uh, last month yes. uh, because of my daughter that uh, put to bed. That is why I'm here. Your daughter? <laughs> yes, put to bed. They've got to make our friend. Our friend, our friend. Are you telling me now that you're a grandfather? <laughs> of course, yes. <laughs> <laughs> Can I say something? Congratulations. This white beard that is coming out oh, is not a cause, it's uh, a glory of it. Look man. at you. <laughs> our friend, our friend. It, it means that you are a grandfather now. Oh, yes, of course. Can't <laughs> you see me? <laughs> you know what I just remembered? Those days in the class where you used to do. <laughs> look at you, you have started the game. <laughs> our friend, our friend. <laughs> <laughs> I have um, two grandchildren now. Yes. You are just not telling me about a grandchild. You are telling me that they are two. <laughs> <laughs> you have broken two doors. Of course not. Afraid, you see, if it is in those days, eh, they would have given you what they call kawaii. <laughs> oh my. You. What you are hitting, I remember the way it is. Eh? <laughs> <laughs> Two grandchildren. Yeah, yeah, I'm still managing with my wife and uh, yeah. I don't know how poverty have not. I'm afraid uh, uh, prosperity. What good. poverty has done to my life, just to eat is a big problem. Hi. Eh? You know, I didn't marry on time because I couldn't afford bright price. Eh? Um, so where is your wife and uh, daughter? Oh, Jessica. Uh, she went to Hawk. Uh, while my wife went to farm, she just brought this first trip of cassava and went to pick the remaining one in the farm. Hmm. Uh, yes, before, I, lest I forget, thank you for the money you gave to my daughter yesterday. Thank you so very much. God bless you. <laughs> thank you very much. I mean, I mean, that's nothing. It's nothing. You see, comparing to what um, I am going to do for this family. Yeah. Did you just say what to do? Yeah, yeah. what to do? <laughs> yes. Yeah. Thank you very much. Yeah. Thank you very much. We thank God. God bless you. Yeah. God bless you. <laughs> thank you. We thank God. Ah. Mama, why are you coming to the farm? What happened? I finished selling my cure, that's why I decided to come and help you. I was wondering why you were coming to the farm. Mm -hmm. yeah? I'm come and help you. I'm finished selling everything. Hey, uh, you're a good girl, though. Hey, my daughter. Mm -hmm. eh? uh, Let's go home. Uh, I'm so tired. Mm -hmm. Okay, that's good. Sorry. Hey, hey. Take it easy. Mm -hmm. It's a bit heavy. Yeah. Yeah? So, hey. Yeah.
I provide everything that your family needs in life. Is it a house? Is it a car? And you will not stay here again. Yes. Alfred, are you telling me that you want to change my life? Of course, yes. I will change it. I will take you out of this poverty. That is me. Moa Ruben. Yes. Hi. Alfred. May God bless you. Amen. You know, I didn't know you would remember me someday. <laughs> May God bless you. You are a true friend. You are a true friend. For all you have been doing for this family, may God truly bless you. But all this will be possible if you give me your daughter's hand. You are talking about my daughter, Jessica. Yes. Jessica. Yes. If I give you Jessica to marry, you will take us to America and change our life? I will change everything. Is that all it takes? Yes. If I give you Jessica, my life will change. <laughs> hey, hey, hey. I will beautify your life. <laughs> and I will take you out of this poverty. <laughs> Give me a little moment. Let me sing praises to God. Because this one deserves to sing praises. <laughs> I say, Come on, join me, sing hallelujah. <laughs> Jehovah Jireh have done the way. <laughs> Come and join me, sing hallelujah. Yeah. Jehovah Jireh have done the way. <laughs> Come and join me. Come and join me, sing hallelujah. <laughs> Come and join me, sing hallelujah. <laughs> I don't know that you will still retain this skin, no? <laughs> Yes, of course, now. Oh, Marim, you make it now. Oh, you are welcome. welcome. Papa. Yeah, you're Jesse. welcome. You are welcome, my daughter. Thank you, Papa. Oh, Chief. <laughs> you are welcome, sir. Yeah, you're Thank welcome. You. Thank you. Ah, a long time. How is your family? We are fine. <laughs> Welcome. Yeah. I'm sorry you came to see us today. <laughs> eh? Welcome. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah. How is it? Yeah. Yeah. Come and join me, sing hallelujah. Oh, Chineko, your mama. Jehovah Jari have done me well. <laughs> Papa, mm -hmm. it's been ages you dance like this, oh. What's the secret? My daughter. Papa. Jesse Mwam. Papa. My lovely child. <laughs> Let me tell you, I have every reason to dance today. Because God is about to wipe away the tears and the pains of this family. Mm. Mm? But I am not going to break the good news just like that. Mm? Mm. I will do it in the time of refreshment so that you and your mother will join me to dance. Because if you know what God is about to do, Mama, Mama, how? I sing you, come and join me, sing hallelujah. Oh, oh yeah, come on, yeah, yeah, yeah. Jesse, Papa Jesse, ah. 
you are talking. Try and listen to what your what is coming out from your mouth. Do you listen to yourself at all? Hey, hey. So this is your plan, eh? So this is the reason why that old fool came here, eh? So your plan now is to marry out my daughter, our little girl who is barely sixteen, to that old fool. That man is old enough to be to, to be my father. All this. How have your condition affected your sense of reasoning, eh? Ruben. Hi. In fact, I'm disappointed in you. I'm highly disappointed in you. Hi. I'm not going with this. What did I just hear you say? Did you say she's 16? Ha! Huh. That's good. So you're up to 16. I was actually thinking that you are 10 and a half. Huh? Now I know that the enemy of my progress and prosperity are members of my own household. Hmm. But let me make something very clear to every one of you. But as long as I remain the father of this house, you must marry a rich man, a wealthy man. Let Chief come and paint the whole of this house and change the whole of this atmosphere to wealth. I want to see money hang like posters in this house. That is my dream. Mm. For all I care, I have decided, and that is final. Okay. Ruben, Ruben. I don't want to hear from you. Hey, you are, you, you should, you should encourage your daughter to marry a rich man. So this is your plan. Eh? You are, you are afraid of po po prosperity. This is your plan. Hey, nobody can marry Chief Alfred. Do mm. can marry Chief Alfred. Don't worry, my daughter. Eh? Don't worry. Don't mind your father. He's, he, he has lost his sense of reasoning. Come marry Chief Alfred. Don't marry him. Mm. <laughs> what is all this? My, mm. Your mates are in school. Mm. Eh? Yeah. Okay, Jesse, what is the problem now? Since you came here, you've been acting all moody. What is it? Talk to us, now, your friends. Hmm. My father wants me to marry Chief Alfred. Eh? Chief Alfred. Wait a minute. Which Chief Alfred? That same richest man in town. <sighs> God forbid. That man that was so that they were hawking, I gave you 1,000 euro. Yes. Have one. And is that why you're keeping your face like someone that devil is welcoming to hell? Look, <laughs> count yourself lucky that the richest man in town is asking for your hand in marriage. Grace, I can't believe you just said something like this. That she should marry an old man at the age of 16. My dear, we're talking about money here. Have a have man, Grace. That is, that is bad. That is child abuse. I can't believe you just said that, Grace. I thought you were my friend. Of course, I am your friend, Jesse. And that is why I'm telling you the truth. Hey! Do you know you stopped out of, you dropped out of school just because you have no money? <laughs> uh, the landlord has been on your father's neck. You hardly eat. Don't you know that this is a big opportunity for you to make your family rich? <laughs> Marry this man. Straight up! Just marry him! Hey! Grace! Leave my father's house. What? I said leave my father's house! Are you chasing me? Yes, now. Leave my father's house! I will leave. But do you know I'm your friend? And I'm only telling you the truth. Marry this man. Marry this man, no. If it's me, I'll forget about my age. I'll marry him. Just straight away. I'm talking about money here. Grace. Leave now. Leave the bed. Ah. 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 Ah.
I think I'm pregnant. Are you out in movie or something? From where? From where? Who is responsible? What kind of question is it? <laughs> You're responsible, you know it. <laughs> so what do you suggest we do now? I'm confused. <laughs> I know you will not want to rule your life with any stage of pregnancy. You are just still nothing but a tender age girl and the access to a daughter. Or do you want to rule your life? No. What do I do now? I think I have a solution. I will get you something.
Who is chasing you? Grace, which Grace? Which wait, which Grace are you even talking about? What happened to her? She's dead, Mama. Which Grace? Is it the same Grace I know? Your friend. She's dead. What happened to her? She was trying to abort her pregnancy. Abortion. Hey, these children will not listen. No. Hey, who would have landed this girl in in this kind of mess? You see what I keep telling you? Eh? You see what I keep telling you about having premarital sex? It's bad. It's very bad. It's even a sin against God. Eh? Now look at what the problem she is into now. It's a pity. Hi. That beautiful girl. It's a pity. Stop crying, eh? It's okay. Hmm? And you too. Make her time to go and see her mother. I just pity her mother. Hi. Igwe, the final year student in room two. Go to the back. Check the numbers in the rooms. We we'll see room two. The others have room. Okay, thank you. Oh, 
all this thing yeah, you, you can never deny me of this opportunity of going to America. You, you, you can never. Because me, as long as I am concerned, I already know who is my enemy of prosperity and progress. I know who they are, and you are one of them. I'm uh, one of them, yes. I'm one of them that doesn't want you to prosper. Ruben, if you like, you can use your mouth and say any rubbish you want to say. All I know is, go and look for my daughter and bring her back to this home. Because I'm sure she has that told you she ran away because of you. And that's Chiba friend. She doesn't want to marry that man. She doesn't want to marry that man. That's why she ran away. Now I don't know where she is. I don't know where she has gone to. Where do you want me to go and look for her? What is all this problem, Ruben? Why are you causing me all this problem in this house? What is wrong with you? We are talking now. If 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 you are if you are supposed to act as a normal human being, you go to some places and start searching for her. Keep crying. You can never cause more disaster than the one happening in Iraq. As for me, I want to go and look for her. And if I find her from there, me and her and the chief will plan abandoning this community. Hey, I, yes, I know it's you, you and this man that scared my daughter with this marriage thing. Jesse don't want to marry that man. That's, I'm sure that is the reason why she ran away. Eh? Go and look for my daughter. Oh, that's all I want to do. Don't go and look for my daughter. Bring Jesse back to this household. Wickedness. I mean, does this kind of a thing still happen? How can your father give you up to an old man, old man, just because of money? Money! Oh, my goodness. My, my, my father said that I must marry him and I have to run out of the house. Auntie Nick, please, please, can I stay here? Of course you can. Feel free, okay? Okay? Feel free. Thank you. This is my bed. And that's the last my room with my classmates. Okay? If you need anything, just let me know. Don't worry, I'll take care of that. If you need anything, you just let me know. I'll take care of you. Thank you. I'll be eating. Right. Thank you. Thank you. Just let me know. Just let me know. I'll take care of you. Ali 
It's okay. <laughs> Let me come to something good has come into my <laughs> Obi there, the almost all village. <laughs> it's okay, it's okay, my good friend. It's okay, don't count it. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. It's not easy. Yes, we know. It's not easy. It's okay. What are you still doing there? Come and meet your husband. Follow your husband. Move now, Daddy. Oh. My daddy, please come. Jessica, I am talking to you now. Come and meet your husband. Oh, you know my wife. Come. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Testing up. Daddy, please come. Jessica, you know the one I am talking to. Come and meet your oh. husband. You have to be romantic a little bit now. Mm -hmm.
shedding tears. Eh? Why are you shedding tears? Will you not inform that I paid hard money? I mean hard money for you to be my wife? Look, don't get me annoyed. Don't get me annoyed. Why are you looking at me like that? Eh? Why are you looking at me like that as if, as if I am old? for money. Now, it's five good months. You're not counting. Five good months. I've not heard from my daughter. We have not heard from our daughter or that stupid chief. Eh? In case you don't know, you're not counting. What are you even talking about? Eh? Don't worry. Very, very soon, chief will surprise you. Hmm. He, will come and, he will come and build me a very big mansion. Very tall building, and I will, I will be a very proud owner of a house. Mm -hmm. Whatever I do, I have my reasons of doing it. He will pack plenty of money and bring it to me. Then you will see the way I will express my, my wealth. Yeah. I will move from kitchen, I will climb to the ceiling. From ceiling, before you could trust me there, I am in the, I am at the parlor. Mm. And meanwhile, Chief has already concluded plans to take us to America. Mm. And I will not forget in a hurry. All this is sort of important because if I step into the plane majestically, enter there, the first person I will remind is the driver of the plane and the conductor. And I will tell them that that woman insulted me that they will chase you away. You will not come into that plane. Ah, baby, 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 don't worry. Don't worry. No, don't worry. Are you, can you hear yourself at all? When you talk at times, listen to what you are saying. Uh, read big house for me. Uh, do place, rooms, this, we'll fly a plane, go to America. How long now? Are you not even counting? I thought the man said immediately he marries our daughter. He will fulfill all his promise. Immediately. Not to know. And for your information, let me even tell you. Our daughter, Jessica, is pregnant. You said what? Correct. Hey! Who oh, been? You see what you have done to yourself? See what you have done to us?
done to yourself? You hate HIV positive? HIV. I don't know why you have listened to you. No, I don't know. My God, is, how am I going to tell my people? <laughs> Hannah, I warned you. But you wouldn't listen. Now look at what you've done to yourself. You think love is all about dirty girl fun? No! Just look at This is the result. Now take a look. See what you've done to yourself, Anna. And you warned her. Anna. No, just imagine. Look at yourself. All you have been doing all this while. Where did it land you? It landed in tears, Anna. Tears. Tears! It's all it brings! Tears is the end! HIV. All is fancy. Hmm? since you're not able to cook. So, what you are trying to tell me now is that there is no food for me to eat. Yes. And, and they give you money to cook in this house and then you have the, 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 the mouth to tell me that there is no food for me. Is it not? Because of money, because of America. No, 
did I open? No, Justin is gone, Ruben! Hey! Who did I open? You are this 